It's okay, you can go. She waited for us to get closer. Had bad experiences with that. Oh, honey was cantering to us. Oh my goodness. I watch you as you drive. Ellie is such a firecracker. Whoa. Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is a Monday, it is hopefully trail riding week. It's like we could be on a trail ride so soon. Anyways, welcome to today. Um, last night I told you guys in the, at the very end of the video that I brought Penny in the trailer at, at nighttime. She just walked right on. The trick was having what she wanted, which seems really awful that I have to bribe her on, but it works. <laughs> Earlier in the afternoon, I tried using a carrot and she's like, I don't really care about carrots. But then when I brought her in from the field, Gabby had the idea to use grain to get Storm to come running to us and it worked. So I used grain after dinner and she's like, yes, I'll have some of that. Thank you. And she walked right on. I love this little barn. It's my favorite barn of ever. Normally she's scared of going in here. Or in the barn, or anywhere around the barn. Yeah, we need to I like. She forgot about. You know, she didn't forget because I saw her looking back at us a million times on the way down here. No, that's to make sure we're going with her. Yeah, she needs us to go with her. Anyways, you guys know that Daisy, our deaf Dalmatian, is scared of the barn because she doesn't like horses to just appear behind her, which is the big thing. And she doesn't understand that the fences are electric. And she doesn't understand that the fences are electric because she doesn't hear the zap when she gets zapped. And she, she doesn't like being zapped. Unlike Ellie, who has figured out the horses, figured out the fence, figured out everything with just a little bit of... So quickly. She's so excited because Daisy's her best friend. To be honest, I think she thinks that she's the boss of Daisy and she's the only one that she's the boss of. It's finally warm enough for Daisy to go down. Yeah. And another like thing. Like she stays inside. Daisy, so we have, Daisy goes out all the time. She runs around our property and she goes outside to go to the bathroom all the time. Um, she just doesn't come down to the barn. Obviously you can see all her muscles and she's in such great shape. She does go places and she does do stuff. She just will not come down to the barn. And she doesn't really love cold weather either. <laughs> and I'm beginning to think that she's not going to like Ellie. Ellie! Ellie! Stop. Let her move! If I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can always stay here forever. So Sophie and I have... Uh, been trying to ride for days now. We're gonna ride today. Like we both woke up, put our riding pants on. There's no question. We're just waiting for the horses to eat. Forever. Forever. <laughs> oh my God. She's like, I'm a, I'm not a jumping that dog. I'm so me. sorry. <laughs> no, Ellie can't jump. She's too little. We basically let our dogs tell us if they want to jump or not, and Ruby is always the one that jumps. I can see Ellie jumping too, because she jumps over ditches, jumps over puddles, jumps over dogs in the house. <laughs> okay, I'm dying of heat. Oh, it's not even that hot out yet. Who knows Barney the dinosaur? Who knows Barney the dinosaur? Oh, we're hot. I'm so hot because I'm wearing riding clothes and they're like warm pants. I need like shorts and nothing else on. So it's still early. It's before lunch. We're gonna bring the horses in and then we're gonna, Sophie and I are gonna ride. It probably won't be a super long ride. I really wanna ride around the property to be honest. Uh, the last ride I had with Penny, there were some good moments. Uh, she's a little crazy, but a lot of it is because she has had a lot of time off. It was her very first time. Thank you. It was her very first time Riding for the, the season. And she was in heat. And you know how I know she was in heat? I can't see it now, but she peed on that wall, like high up in the middle of that wall. Good, right? Get a freezy, Gabby. And you need shorts on, but both of you guys need t shirts on. Ever since it's been hot, we've been spending like all of our day oh, in no, the barn. 
Watch out, get over there, Gabby. He's gonna smack you with that thing. He's swallowing. <laughs> He's trying to eat it. So I've been like researching and I've been learning so many things. Like you guys know how in the summertime your horses okay. hooves dry out. Well, um, so, so we buy all these things. Yeah. Like we have so many products, you guys, that are supposed to hydrate the hooves so they don't crack and dry out. And I always look at the ingredients because I also read that all those things that are sold to help them not dry out, dry them out. So I read yeah. the best thing to do is to uh, use water, is to use water to hydrate your horse's hooves. And in fact, people say hydrate your horse from the inside out. Like horses that have bad feet have bad feet, obviously because their gut is bad, but we're gonna try it this summer. We're gonna, so what I read was that the best way to combat the heart, the cracking and the drying of hooves in the summer is to overflow your water trough so that when the horses go to the water trough every day they're standing in mud and water and it's and it will it, it does their foot will soak up as much moisture as it needs but um chino's not out in the field so we can't do that with him so uh, we're just giving him five minutes in water <laughs> just to like moisten his feet and Gabby's getting a chance to play with them and spend time with them. I spent so much time with this boy last night. I just like groomed him and he's just the sweetest horse. As long as you don't cut it, why would I cut it? Yeah. Is he good for flashback? So, yeah. So we are trying this new spray. It's like a conditioner spray, so it's good for their hair. It like conditions it so it like lays down smooth. Look at that. Wow. It's oil infused, which is why it works so good. And it smells good, and because of the smell of it, mm -hmm. it repels bugs too. So good to brush your horse's mane. Spray them down, throw Willow's them out. Willow's mane the is the worst, and it brushed it so good. Yeah, it brushed it, it so, so good. Is. So we've had other product like this, but the other product we have didn't wasn't a fly spray too. You shaved your dog. Like, oh, I love it. Yeah, I shave I shave her every month, so she's nice and fresh for the summer. Look how pretty. Yeah, that looks great. Is that hair on the other side? Oh, he's like, I love it. The only thing is, is that I would never want to like soak his feet so long that he would get soft. Get soft. Just enough to hydrate them. Our barrier is here the next week, I think. So next I'll talk. Next week, jeez. I know it flies by. It's at, there's actually, because we have that door open and that door open, there's such a nice cross breeze that comes through here. Feels amazing. Come on, honey. Get Ellie. Come on. Come on, honey. Penny. Come on. Come on. Great. Why don't you poop? Storm you star. Freeload. <laughs> oh, he never did? Back up, good girl. Whoa, it's okay. So now she's freaking herself out. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. I know, Chino's out there trying to eat the trees. <laughs> All right, let's go. We're gonna go for a ride, but good girl, Pen. Back up a little bit more. Back up. Good girl. Blocking his path, or else he won't go on. He yeah. Has to stand to the side. And yeah. Drag him on so he'll yeah. Go. So that's what's weird about our dog, our horses, is that he only oh, likes to go on the left side because that's where he's used to. She only wants to go on the right side, but the the things weren't set up good. But she still went on. She, the problem, the reason she didn't go straight on was because she was eating grass. Tino's like, I can smell you. He loves his girl. She'll be out soon. She's just gonna go for a ride. It's okay. Willow is Chino's biggest fan. She like, out of every horse, Penny likes him too, but out of all of her horses, she loves him the most. We are almost ready to go. Where is anybody coming down to film us? Uh, Gabby's dad is in the car. They're in the car. <laughs> They're like, Sophie and I are the ones that are diehard horses. Um, Gabby loves to ride, but she doesn't like the heat and she's kind of like. Oh no, she's coming down with us. Oh, is she coming down yeah. with us? She's just gonna sit there and read. Um, I'm kicking her out to the scary end. 
So Storm goes into the scary end. So Sophie's gonna ride English today. <laughs> the slow head turn. He's like, wait a minute, this is not the girl that rides in, in the English saddle. Uh, Sophie's gonna ride English today because I'm gonna use my saddle, we're gonna ride together. But we noticed something. What did we notice? He got fatter. He, his girth is fitting tighter. He's more tired. So for sure we know he's gaining a little bit of weight. And Penny, <laughs> her, her girth is a little bit tighter. Your, your girth is a little bit tighter, Penny. But her crest is doing so good. Like I'm so impressed with it. She's managing the grass no problem. They all are, except for Chino. <laughs> there's the viewing, there's the, the viewers. <laughs> I love this life, you guys. I love being able to just like come out, ride our horses, and I love spending time in the barn and just getting that relaxation. He got shorter. I think Sylvie's going through a growth spurt for sure. She's like almost 5'7 now. I am 5'7. She's um yeah, she's close to 5'7. Until Gabby's been banished to the scary corner. All right, we got Ellie up. Eddie, Ellie up. You got Ellie up. <laughs> we got Sophie up on Storm. Got Laura down there, and uh, Gabby's in the spooky area. Not even a spooky area. That's not the spooky corner. By the wood pile. Yeah. Okay. No. And they're going for a ride. Yeah, Laura says he's trying to buck, but I've never seen it. Too hot to ride. He's a bad guy. See if she'll follow Storm. Just see if she follows Storm. Storm will go that way. Go up there, Sylvie, and go up ahead and see if. Penny, Storm's beating you. Storm's beating you, Penny. There she goes. She's racing now. She's racing Storm. She wants to beat Storm, see? Just cut early at the fence here. Wow, oh, she's cruising. <laughs> cruising. Cut in between these tires. Uh oh, <laughs> oh! Failed the dressage course. If Penny was doing dressage, she'd be outside the box. Let's go. All right, Penny's back in the arena now. You might want to slow her down, man. <laughs> she just wants to get done. <laughs> Whoa, it's like a drift car.
This kind of love is never, ever lasting. It's a race. It likes to race home. My foolish heart is never resting. All right, Laura's going to try the poles now. This is something that is, that is hard to find. I'll be sitting over there with Ruby and Ellie. Nice in the shade. Laura's trying to go through poles. And I'm here with Molly. Who likes to sit in the sun and look at sh she likes to look at shadows. <laughs> Gabby's gonna run with storm. There goes Gabby. The storm gonna catch up. No, we're just gonna follow Gabby. So he's doing with no rains. There's a dog there. Ruby! Ruby spooked the horses by going in the bushes. My horse spooked. I almost died. Nobody cared. Laura almost died apparently, but nobody saw us, so. Okay, go lie down, Ruby. Stop scaring horses. Stop scaring horses. Okay? Stop, stop scaring horses. You're scaring horses. Can't go in the woods there. Around there, uh, yeah, go. Property. Go, go this way. way. See that big thing? Uh, yeah. Oh, grab that's a hole. Yeah. So, okay. Just walk around. Sophie's trying with the uh, neck rain. So Gabby's gonna run because Storm will just trot with her. And Sophie's doing it with no hands while she follows Gabby around. <laughs> We need to start bringing Gabby's helmet down with her because at the end of Sophie's ride, he's always like, just ride me, Gabby. Gabby still loves Storm. Yeah, she absolutely does. Still loves him. He like, he loves her. I had so much fun riding my horse. Yeah, it's so easy. <laughs> because you taught him that, Gabby. He's like, and other people have said this before. Coaches have said this before. He will do anything. It was very difficult. He will do anything to please her. I want to know how good our shopping skills are. 
Yeah. So. John was pretty good. Yeah, you looked good. good. When I was clicking when I was on him, he didn't listen to me. But when Gabby was clicking from so far away, he was like, wee! <laughs> I know. Like, let's go. Like, I don't know. Gabby's going to have to take up Western, or she's going to have to, like, make him just her trail horse or something. I don't know. Because the horse speaks. He once loves her. Horse. Once I find the horse for me, Gabby can have him back. Yeah, once Sophie's going to have to get a horse. Like, Storm is so perfect for... Try stopping! Storm is so perfect for Western Pleasure, and he's really good for trails for Gabby, but he's not Sophie's horse. Like, he is, I mean, he is good for Sophie, but he Gabby can loves, ride him on the trail. he, all right. Because I'll lead Julia. Oh, okay. Or I'll bring Willow or, or all right. So, uh, they, yeah, Sophie said you could ride him on the trail and she'll lead Julia. I can what? Ride him on the trail. The first trail ride of the season is going to be wild you guys it's going to be a bunch of horses that don't really know each other it's going to be their first time out so penny will be awesome penny won't get on the trailer after penny will get on the trailer i'm working on it she goes on she just doesn't really want to don't you know that you're beautiful